What's up guys, it's Sir Murph here, Sir Murph Services, Moments with Murph, whatever you want to call me. Today we got our 06 Elantra behind us still, and today we're going to paint the calipers. So some supplies we got here, we got our flame proof primer, this is actually a pretty good primer, I have it on my car, I don't know if you guys can see it, it's green, it's a little dirty, but we put that under there, um, use engine paint, because it has a, where is that, yeah, high temperature resistance. So, works pretty well. Got it on my car. We got a sanding. We got some sandpaper and a little sanding block. Kind of messed it up. Pretty good, though. You're definitely going to need some brake parts cleaner. This is going to, what's going to dry it up, but you guys will see that in the video. We got some good steel brush. Always need a good steel brush. We got uh, some water and some soap in a bucket. Huge bucket, I know. And we got some paper towels in the dry rack. And we will get into how we use all that soon. So, we see how they look now. We're not going to super glen them up because she doesn't really care about all that, but we are going to clean them and repaint them just to give it a little bit of life to them. So what we're going to do first is get the, our steel brush and we're going to give it a nice, a nice good scrubbing. We're going to try to get some of that excess, that excess rust off. We got like a lot of rust is just sitting on top of the caliper. So you want to be careful of the rubber because if you tear it, you got to get new ones. <laughs> and even though they might not be that expensive, but hey, every dollar you can save, try to save it. Ooh. So the good thing is that these are actually in pretty decent shape. Just a little dirty. A lot of dirty. <laughs> But I've seen worse, trust me. Mm -hmm. But then what I personally like to do is some people do it a little differently. I get a little bit of soap and water and really just give it a nice little a nice wipe down after you then scrub it. Just to knock some of some of that off else off. You see that? Pretty dirty, right? Mm -hmm. So this is a nice little benefit. Because the the brush ain't going to ain't going to wipe. It's going to scrub, but it's not going to get some of that excess off. So get you some soap and water, wipe your caliper off. Like I said, this one's in pretty good, decent shape. So ain't too much that we can. It's really be done to it. Then you go get your dry one. Have your dry one wipe it down. Ugh. This is where your brake clean comes into handy. And you're gonna get a nice good spray. And it's gonna also knock some of that SS off. I personally love brake clean. It's so it's so amazing. And as you can see, it starts to really dry up that that caliper pretty quickly. And because it's about dry. I like to give it a nice little sanding. Try to smooth things out. When you sand, you get some of that old rust off. You can start bringing back some of the, the, the older metal. When you get some of that old rust off, you can bring back some of the, the better metal and it makes the paint easier to see. Mm -hmm. Want to hit a little more brake clean? Get rid of some of that excess. And you take a paper towel, get a nice little, and rub it down a little bit to make sure it's completely dry before you get into your process. And you see, you can still get some of that dirt off. Not everything comes off just by spraying. So there are many ways that you can paint the caliper, different styles. So we're going to do the easiest and the quickest way, which is leaving the caliper on and painting on it and cutting everything else around it. So what you do need for this, you're going to need masking tape and you're going to need a trash bag. So the color that we're going to go with is a graphite. She let me choose it. Again, she doesn't really care about pretty colors. So we want a nice graphite color. It's still going to be about the same color that what's on there now, but it's going to spruce it up a little bit. So what you're going to do, you're going to take your trash bag 
and you're literally just gonna wrap it around your whole knuckle. This way, everything's covered. And you're gonna take your tape to mask it down. But first, let me show you how to expose it. So, what you're gonna do is take a small blade, and you're gonna make a small cut. Real simple. Because what you want to do is you want to keep it nice and tight around the caliper. You do not want it to super stretch. So you want everything to just barely fit around it as you pull it around. Bam. We're not stretching it. We're not extending it. Real simple. Great. Cal caliper is exposed. Now we must tape down the other things. We have the knuckle and all the rotor covered up, but we have the caliper exposed, which is basically the only thing you want to expose. Hmm. When we tape, we're also going to tape up this in here and down here, as well as the brake pad itself. Anyone who says you can just spray paint this is not smart because you have clips in here, you have the rotor itself in there, and you have all your rubber boots. Okay, great. So, taped up there, taped the clips, taped inside, taped inside where the rotor and the pistons are, down below, bam. Now, now we're ready for our solid primer. I personally do two to three coats of the primer. Some people may do less, some people may do more, some people it, 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 skip it, never skip it. Primer is essential. So, we're going to do... They're in pretty good shape, so we're going to do only two coats of primer, maybe three coats, depending on how it looks, and we're going to go from there. So when you do the primer, you want to have a nice distance, and you're going to do nice, nice, even, light coats. And you're going to let it sit for, I would say in the first coat, about a minute or two. You guys a different angle. So this time we're going to go a little heavier with the second coat. Still want to be nice and even with it. And now we're going to let it sit for another minute or two. And we are going to do a third coat. All right. So we let it sit for a good two minutes. And now we're going to let the third coat. And what you're basically going to fill in anything else that we may have missed in the first two. And what you did get it pretty well. So keep your good angle. Nice even coat. You gotta make sure you always get behind the back. You gotta get below it. And I would say this is pretty solid. So now that we're good with the primer, we're gonna wait about a good four to five minutes to make sure that it completely dries before we go ahead and put the final paint on here. So we in fact did have to go to the store and get another can. So we got another one and now we can get back to the work. So now we're going to restart, <laughs> even though we got some stripes on here because we didn't expect our paint to come out like that, but gave a great example of why you should always check your pans before you begin. Oddly enough, that's the first can that ever had happened on me, so self note though. So, nice little light coat. And then we're going to let it sit there. We're going to wait about, about one to two minutes between coats. Now we're going to go ahead with our second one. Of course, we're going to make this one heavier. Still want it to be nice and even. So we're going to have to blend in those original, we're going to call them stripe, them tiger lines, since it was uneven. Oh yeah, that's looking great. So we're going to let that one sit for another two to three minutes because it's a little heavier. We want to make sure that's actually dry before you put the next layer on. Now we're going to go ahead and put on coat number three.
You know, I really like this graphite color. <laughs> cool. Let that sit, and then we'll put on our fourth layer. So far, it's actually like beautifully on there. We're just gonna give a, a little light fourth layer for added protection. That's a little something I do. So, nice little, nice little sprays. Make sure we got everything covered. Even though we we look good. So, bam, just like that. And I think we're straight. So we're gonna let this sit. And then after about, usually I give it about 20, 25 minutes for it to really sit and harden from all the layers to take everything apart. And we'll see what the finished product looks like. Okay, so we got it nice and dry. It's been about, about 30 minutes. So we're going to strip it down. Like that really looks so clean. And see how it actually looks. And look how pretty she is. Nice and smooth. Yeah, you can see the fine details. It came out great. Like this looks straight. Like this is amazing. Had to throw a mask on because you know, paint. <laughs> but thank you guys for watching the video. If you got any questions or comments, don't hesitate to leave a, com leave a comment or try to message me. Definitely leave a like. And tell me what you think about the job and if you got any suggestions. And stay tuned for more videos, especially on this car. Because this is a project. And we got other cars in the future. So thanks for watching.